Chemistry is the closest thing to magic that there is that's real. By understanding atoms, learning how to turn them into molecules, how to put the molecules together, you actually make a new thing that has never existed before. So some students come here and they've had a lot of chemistry in high school, but the chemistry that we teach them here at MIT is, is really different. At MIT, what we want is to make it possible for students to not just understand chemical equations and rules. We want them to be able to actually perceive and think about the world at the molecular level, to approach societal problems from a molecular viewpoint. And that's really important because solutions to many of the world's biggest challenges are necessarily chemical. Modern chemistry is not what you may think. It's not a bunch of people with pocket projectors doing titrations and mumbling about potions. Modern chemistry is about solving climate change, about coming up with new solutions to the energy crisis, about developing next generation medicines. In the chemistry GIR, you don't just learn the chemical principles. You learn how they apply to all these types of problems and how they can help you understand these issues. For example, we teach acids and bases, but we go beyond that to explain how these properties of molecules, being acidic or basic, influence whether or not a drug is effective, and how that drug interacts with cell. And we explain how you can tune these fundamental properties of the molecule for any desired purpose. I knew that I wanted to become a doctor, um, and I knew I wanted to study biology, but very quickly I learned that there's no way you can study biology unless you know chemistry. You just can't understand the molecular basics of like what goes on in the body, what goes on even at a cellular level, unless you understand chemistry. To really manipulate biological systems for health and disease, we need to understand it at a molecular level. And that's really what chemistry gives us. Two major issues that face modern medicine are understanding our microbiome and tackling the problem of antibacterial resistance. So we've been studying human proteins that can selectively recognize the sugars on bacterial cell walls. To understand that process, we need to understand things like hydrogen bonding, electronic interactions, thermodynamics, and even molecular orbitals. These nanoscale concepts from the Chemistry GIR are also key for understanding and advancing renewable energy. We know that one of the major challenges facing us as a society is climate change. And the only way to address it is renewable energy sources. So we're very interested in understanding how we can capture sunlight and convert it into usable energy. Photosynthesis is about electrons flowing from one molecule to another. This is the fundamental process of harvesting energy from light. And in the chemistry GIRs, we're going to talk about how you can take these fundamental chemical principles of electron flow and use them to design new types of materials. Every major is dependent on materials, which is dependent on elements, so you need to have some fundamental understanding of what you're doing. For example, if you're a mechie, you're going to be building things, but of what? You're going to be building out of wood, out of like alloys. Okay, what are alloys? How do those elements actually work? And chemistry, the chemistry GIR is really your first step into understanding the basis of what you're going to be doing. The world is built from atoms up, hence teaching students how to manage atoms and bigger objects like nanoscale objects like molecules is the key to what we need to provide them as educators. About half of all the discoveries of MIT in the years to come will be nanoscale driven. So once you understand where electrons go in an atom, in a molecule, in a solid, well then you can understand how to manipulate them to make many, many different devices. We design molecules and we synthesize molecules um, that self-assemble when you add them to water. You add water and they zip up into these very long, very small nanofibers. And so we functionalize the surface of them for particular applications. For example, we are developing materials for water purification. Chemistry is about knowing where the world is going, not just where it is. And I think having that context uh, on our day-to-day -day lives, no matter what we do, whether we care about energy, whether we care about computing, whether we care about medicine, whether we care about sustainability, Understanding the world around us is an absolutely essential part of it. Chemistry is a lot of fun. We all know that everything in this world is made up of molecules, but we have no idea why, when we just look at them, they have the properties that we do. So it's so much fun learning about what lies under the magic curtain.